Hi everyone, it's Devin Coombs, and today we will be covering question 12 in our managerial accounting lecture series. Uh, this question regards discontinuing operations, uh, how to choose if an operation is profitable, or a product is profitable, or not profitable, even if they have positive or negative net income. So this is a very interesting question, very useful for decision making. Uh, it does follow the CSUN Gateway Lab exam, so if you're doing that series with us, please follow that. It's helpful for anyone, though. So let's read the question, and we'll dive right into it. So we get a lot of information in this question regarding sales, variable costs, contribution margins, fixed costs, and net income for a series of products. And then we get the question, product line B appears unprofitable, and management is considering discontinuing the line. How would the discontinuation of product line B affect net income? And then it gives us an assortment. And so a lot of people who don't understand this information will get pretty lost pretty quickly. So I recommend right away, just ignore A, C in total. Uh, we only care about product line B. So like I've said in previous questions, we normally get a lot of information uh, in accounting questions and in business questions. And we just have to know how to sort through the clutter and get to the point. And so that's product B. That's all we're worried about. Uh, the next thing that people will trip up on, oh, so I'll switch to this. This is a little more direct, is the negative net income. So people will say, oh, if product B has a negative $4,000 of net income, we should cut it because it's losing money. Well, this isn't necessarily true. Uh, what we have to consider is fixed costs. So fixed costs might be something like rent for a warehouse or a machine that we can't, we, we might be able to sell, but sometimes we can't sell for the cost we originally received for it. Uh, there's a lot of potential fixed costs. So there's, those are costs we can't change. So we really can't include those in our decision-making process. Uh, sometimes we consider them sunk costs. But if we paid money for something, it doesn't necessarily mean if we cut product line B that we will receive that money back. This is money that we've spent, we're not going to get it back. So when making decisions about product lines, we should focus on variable costs, and a better number overall is the contribution margin. So contribution margin is exactly what we see right here. Sales minus variable costs equals contribution margin. Contribution margin is one of my favorite numbers in accounting. Uh, it's extremely useful for decision making, but all it means is how much money am I making per item, not considering fixed costs. So uh, it's such a wonderful item uh, to look at, contribution margin, because let's say you're selling something. Let's say we take away the zeros. We're sell selling shirts for $9 and it costs us $7 to make each shirt. We know we're making $2 a shirt. That's so useful. We can use that uh, when we're considering break-even analysis, when we're considering budgeting. Uh, we know that if we set, we need to sell 100 shirts to make $200 or 1,000 shirts to make $2,000, uh, notwithstanding fixed costs. So that's just a very useful number to know. I would recommend really focus on contribution margin. I'll probably do a video just on co contribution margin because it's so important. It's such an easy, good number. So as I say here, if we're looking at decision making, only look at the contribution margin. That's all we have to look at here. We know that everything we, every time we sell a product B, we get $2,000 uh, in contribution margin or from the total, we're getting $2,000. I'm not sure exactly, it doesn't read, read um, exactly well. But if we're getting $2,000, if we cut this, we'll actually lose that $2,000. Uh, we won't get back this 4,000 because that's including our fixed costs. So a lot of people make the mistake that they say, okay, uh, we need to cut this because we have the negative net income not true. We are going to lose money if we cut product B because we are losing out on this contribution margin and we won't gain our fixed costs. So a product can have a negative net income but should still stay in operations. This is, this is what's so important with understanding this question and why it's a good question. Fixed costs may not be recoverable. So I've discussed that. This, these $6,000 in fixed costs, we might not get that back. Maybe we're running all of these products out of the same warehouse if we stop selling product B, even though it's making a negative net, in net income because of the allocation of fixed costs, uh, we will just lose out on the $6,000. So we're going to lose out on a lot more money if we cut the product because we won't recover those fixed costs potentially. So again, contribution margin is key. 
on this decision making process if you're looking at multiple product lines or multiple uh, more, multiple departments and you're looking to cut one just look at the contribution margin if the contribution margin is negative then you cut it if the contribution margin is positive keep it don't look at net income so the answer here is d it will decrease by two thousand dollars if we decrease if we cut b because we'll be losing out on that contribution margin so for losing out on that contribution margin that's a bad thing we shouldn't cut this but d is the answer our our total net income would decrease by two thousand if we cut product line b i hope that helps if you have any questions, feel free to ask me in my comments below or on my Twitter account. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Uh, I will always be posting videos regarding business matters and accounting matters. So feel free to reach out to me anytime and have a wonderful day. Bye.